me and your love Luba, Amy, <laughs> Amy community crush. When you go to someone's house and they ask you do you want rice and you're like, no ma, thank you, but you actually want the rice, but because your mother is there and she's giving you the eye, you don't want the rice. I will do it, I will do it, I will do it, and you guys will even be tired. They actually made that title for me. <laughs> I'll tell you again. <laughs> you guys, they made a perfect title for me. Hey beautiful babes, what's good? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your fave, Ellie, and we're back again with another video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a look and QA. and a I love filming and editing Q&As, so I'm super excited. Basically, I'm just going to be answering questions about my first times. Like the first time I ever rode on a bus. Who driving this bus? It's just going to be something simple. It's not going to be anything too deep. So, yeah, that being said, if you're new to my channel and you're feeling the vibes and the energy so far, you should definitely subscribe. Y'all be sure to like this video and leave your opinions in the comment section. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first question says, what's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning? And the first thing I do in the morning is to pray. All the heaven. Hello be my name. Hello be my name. Sometimes I be forgetting to pray first thing in the morning. So when I remember, I will pray. And it's just usually Thanksgiving and asking for a wonderful day and things like that. Next question is, what's the first foreign country you ever visited? The first foreign country I ever visited was Benin Republic. And it was actually a sixth grade trip. So we learned a lot about slavery and it was like a weekend trip. It wasn't too extra. It was my first time staying away from family. And it was my first country outside of my Nigerian country that I grew up in so it was my first foreign country anyway the next question says what's your first plane ride you ever went on well, my first plane ride was a family trip from nigeria to the uk it wasn't really a bad trip overall but that was my first ever plane ride and it was a lot for me at that time it was a lot i wasn't your full full dinga like i saw the clouds beside me i was close to heaven <laughs> It was a pretty fun experience for me and then in that same trip we ended up going to four different states in the uk we also went to cadbury road basically where they make chocolates and stuff at that time i think i was like nine to ten years old next question says the first time i ever got in trouble at home i have a good story for this one this was not actually the first time that i ever got in trouble but it's the first time that i remember getting in trouble basically we had this hairdresser her stylist she was down the street and she used to do our hair would usually go to her place every sunday to go get our hair done for school week next week i grew up in nigeria all this my story is almost in nigeria but anyway me and my sister will walk down like i was around like five at this time five or six years old african mothers in general they will always tell you not to take things from strangers even people that you know unless they give you to go ahead like when you go to someone's house and they ask you do you want rice and you're like no ma thank you but you actually want the rice but because your mother is there and she's giving you the eye you don't want the rice basically my mom tells us not to take things from strangers or if we ended up getting something she had to know before we actually ate the stuff because my dad had a childhood trauma yo <laughs> The stories that my dad tells about when he was younger is crazy. Anyway, we went to go get our braids done this day and this day she offered us gala. Gala is basically like sausage in a blanket but it's better. And she didn't just give us gala, she gave us super bites. There is gala and then there is super bites. And if you know, super bites is like a luxurious gala. Anyway, she gave us super bite this time and I was like, oh no, thank you. I don't want it. We were getting our hair done. And then she offered my sister and my sister ate. And when I saw that she ate half of it, I was like, oh, give me the remaining half because it's not like I'm not really hungry. And it was fine. We were fine until we got home. My sister started complaining of a stomach ache. I'm like, what is wrong with this one? Because what is wrong with you? You didn't do anything since morning. And my mom was like, ah, and you more eat? Blah, 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 blah. What did you eat? What did you eat? At first, we were saying the things that she gave us to eat, not anything else. And then later on, my sister says, we ate gala at this place. Really? <laughs> Really? My mom just looked at me and then she tried to take care of my sister. When she was done taking care of my sister, she came for me. That woman, she went to go and get her belt and she came for me and she bit the heck out of me that day. That day I sustained a bruise and it was in my armpit and that was the first time I ever sustained a bruise from a beating. And I was so mad at my sister because like, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Nothing happened to me so it's obviously not the gala. Why would you complain about the gala? Next question says, when was the first time you were allowed to put makeup on? I'm gonna answer the question with two answers. The question says, when was the first time I was allowed? Like as a kid, I would ask my mom when I was allowed to put makeup on and she said at the age of 16, 
16. But guess who put makeup on before 16? I don't know. And now for the second part, I'm just going to tell you the story of how I got into makeup and the first time that I ever put makeup on my face. So basically, there was this summer event. It was like an etiquette kind of summer camp kind of thing. This time, I think I was like a little older, like 12 or so. At some point, we had a cultural day. And let me tell you something. For every cultural day that I've ever had in my life, that my mother was over the control of me. She would not waste time to put me in an ole cool. It was always this yellow and pink star ole cool. And I was wearing my little ole cool. And then we had some older girls at the same camp. And then this girl, she says to me like, oh, do you want something on your face? And I'm like, why not? My mom isn't here anyway. And she just drew eyeliner. She just drew eyeliner. Like, yo, the line on the eye. That's all. <laughs> That's all she did. When I stepped out of the room that I got my eyeliner done, everyone was just like, oh my god, you're so pretty, you're so pretty. Like, you guys, I'm trying to be humble, but I can't be humble when people are praising me and raising my head up. As is that day, in fact, when they were complimenting me, I was just like, eh, eh. Just eyeliner that I draw. And you guys are doing all this. This makeup, we will do it together. <laughs> I draw my warning. I will do it, I will do it, I will do it. And you guys will even be tired. Eh? Eh? Hey, don't worry. I'm about to take over. In general, makeup should not be what makes you feel pretty. But that day, you sure as heck make me feel pretty. Next question says, my first crush. I don't like to tell this story, but I'll tell it anyway because I have to tell it. But this story is like, it's not embarrassing, but it's like a homie kind of story. <laughs> it's not like that. But anyway, my first crush was a community crush. No, literally, no. Imagine me, Angela Oluwa, a me, a me community crush. <laughs> when I say community crush, what I mean is like a bunch of girls were liking the same person and they were chasing after this person, and I was one of them. It's not as big a deal as I'm making it seem like it is But usually I like to like things that a lot of people don't like I don't know, it's just my way of thinking Like if everybody likes somebody I, It's not like I don't like them But I don't bother to like them, do you get? Basically this person was the head boy And head boy is like a perfect you guys know what head boy is if you're African. And I was a health prefect. Something about my health prefect, they actually made that title for me. <laughs> I'll tell you again. <laughs> you guys, they made a prefect title for me. And I was the first ever health prefect in my school. It wasn't anything too extra. We weren't really friends. Neither were we like enemies. Like we'll talk casually and stuff like that. But the first major interaction that I remember having with this person was at a birthday party. If you don't know me personally, when I go to parties and I hear Afro beats, eh? Afro beats that is making things. I become a different person. I don't care about my surroundings. I'm just gonna dance the dance that David dance. And it was me and this person. We were dancing, we were in a dance battle, and I wasn't about to lose him though. Heck no. Although I wanted him to notice me, I was more engaged with my dancing. I was more occupied with my dancing. I ended up winning by the way. But yeah, that was the first major occurrence that I had with him. That crush didn't really last long because I started liking someone else. And this one was, I think he was actually the assistant I had put. She belongs to the streets. Next question is my first internet activity. I think my first internet activity was playing games online. My dad is a pastor and every Sunday when I was done with my little church service for children, I would go to his office and he had a computer in his office and I would just search gamesforgirls.com. I would play cooking games, I would play spa games, I would especially play dress up games because I was a dress up freak. And at some point I started inviting people that my father did not know so I'm playing games in my father's office. Next question is my first job. I've actually never really had a first job job. I've always been an entrepreneur. Like even from the ages of like five, six, seven, eight, I would make beads. It would be a necklace with some earrings, some bracelets and a ring, like as a set and I would make it and I'll sell it at church and people would purchase. And then after that I started selling hair bows and bow ties. I just did so many things. After that I started selling things made out of Ankara. Yeah, I'll mix all the skincare together with some toothpaste. And I would mix it inside container and I was selling it for 15 naira and there were some people that were buying it and then after that I started making wigs out of braiding hair and I would sell them I've just always been want to work with my hands and want to be creative next question is the first movie that I remember seeing the first movie I remember seeing was Matilda and it was on my mom's computer I believe I watched that movie like almost a hundred times my next question is my first phone my first phone was actually a visa phone i was a visa phone babe the main things that were really on it were games like the little game with the snake trying to chase the ball and you have to press the four keys in the middle to get the snake to eat the ball and i would never get the snake to eat the ball oh my god those were the cool all that i really remember doing on the phone was playing games 
using the touch lights touch lights because it was never lights and radio and the final question is the first person that you text when something happens that's my sister and then i tell my parents and everybody else that needs to know might know and yeah guys basically that is the end of this video if you're new to my channel once again and you enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe you guys also be sure to like this video and leave your opinions in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys same place next time in my next video see ya catch ya later boo